A few days ago, SpaceX executed the first test launch of Starship. And this represents a tremendous uh, new opportunity uh, to understand what we can achieve as we aim to colonize space. But it also represents an opportunity to evaluate how we uh, relate to endeavors of uh, daring, edgy developments and how we look at the competence and the ability of those who try to go beyond. My name is David Orban and this is The Context. I had the chance of uh, talking to a lot of people who uh, are not in the middle of technology and uh, developments in artificial intelligence or uh, other fields, such as, for example, space exploration. And my expectation was that uh, they would be at least peripherally aware that we have now rockets that can land and then be reused and that we are experimenting with and developing the next generation of these amazing machines, specifically that uh, we were about to launch uh, the Starship that is fully reusable. And no, they didn't know about it. If you ask someone who is not specifically interested in uh, these uh, fields, the sources of news and information that they receive completely neglect this amazing development. Now, after the Starship test launch, there were some uh, reports in the uh, printed media, newspapers, uh, in uh, the uh, television, news reports, but unavoidably, practically universally, uh, these um, concentrated on the fact that the rocket after a few minutes uh, of flight exploded. Without, at least in the titles that would uh, attract uh, those uh, viewers or readers uh, that um, are the consumers of, of these uh, sources of information, uh, without uh, going into detail about the fact that it was foreseen that the rocket would destruct at a certain point. It was not at all part of the test that it would attempt to land or expected that it would successfully land. Turns out that the explosion was actually triggered by a command from uh, the SpaceX uh, launch facility because the uh, two stages of the rocket couldn't separate. But if it were not for at that particular moment, it would have been triggered a little bit later or after uh, completing its uh, uh, orbital flight, the uh, first and second stage would still be destroyed on impact with the uh, Pacific Ocean. The fact that uh, these uh, sources of information concentrated on the um, explosion implied a lot of things. Their disregard for the process of iterative, rapid improvement that uh, uh, has been the case with the previous generation of uh, Falcon rockets from SpaceX and what we can expect from uh, the Starship generation as well, over not 
decades, over not many, many years, over literally months, as new launch attempts will be made and new tests will be designed. The iterative process that these reports um, ignore allows the teams to learn a lot from each test and introduce immediate improvements. As a matter of fact, these improvements are staggered because what SpaceX is creating is a Starship factory. There are already several uh, completed boosters, uh, um, stage one rockets, and uh, several uh, stage two Starships proper. And already those that will be launched during uh, the next uh, test incorporate hundreds, if not thousands of uh, improvements that the teams um, engineered on top of those that uh, will be introduced thanks to what has been learned during the previous test launch. The second consequence of this kind of reporting is a very curiously ignorant attitude towards uh, the uh, effort and towards the competence that those in the teams uh, invest and display the superficial analysis that doesn't take into account the process will conclude with sneer towards, oh, Elon Musk, the mega billionaire failed because the rocket exploded. And what actually Elon Musk does at every possible occasion, talk about a team and the effort and the skills and the passion and the talent and the competence of the thousands of people who are behind uh, the SpaceX, both Falcon and um, Starship. Well, those will count for nothing according to these reports. It is unnecessary, it is ignorant and uh, destructive. It is destructive uh, to the morale of those teams and hopefully they are stealing themselves against even uh, attempting to interface uh, with uh, these useless uh, reports. It is destructive towards the readers and the viewers that uh, they are targeting because they are actively keeping them in ignorance and they are training them to not even try to go um, beyond the, the, the surface of this kind of uh, reporting. And finally, it is uh, destructive uh, towards the news organizations themselves. Their reputation is completely lost and uh, they are losing uh, those who care. <laughs> they are only left uh, with those who are content in the induced artificial bubble of ignorance that they are kept in. This kind of contempt against competence is extremely toxic and we have to actively fight uh, against it. We have to uh, cherish and we have to celebrate the achievements of our civilization, what we can do. Uh, and of course, before becoming perfect, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone goes through errors in order to achieve what can they can do. As an example, Falcon 9, the previous generation of rockets from uh, SpaceX, has completed over a hundred perfect launches and landings in sequence. Uh, amazing science fiction and the level of competence and perfection given the, uh, the, the, the sequence, that is worthy 
of awe and celebration. It is what we should be doing every day. So I am very much looking forward to future tests. I am very much looking forward to uh, celebrate and support the uh, ingenuity, uh, the passion and the competence that uh, SpaceX and uh, its uh, thousands of team members uh, have demonstrated. Thank you.